my family always wants it for free or like they want a like huge discount and it's like I don't mind that because it's my family but like when like do you need to be like okay well listen like this is what I charge like should you ever charge them all right hello welcome back I'm Brianna awesome um, so today we are just going to be talking about um, basically the importance of saying no or knowing when to say no. As a photographer. As a photographer. Um, so do you want to start? Well, I'd basically start by asking you questions like have you ever had any time in your career or your time taking photographs that you've been asked? To do something that you didn't want to do? Yes. <laughs> do like a lot. Do you remember any one particular instance? Um, actually, yes. <laughs> um, this is actually a while ago. So I was asked to do um, a shoot with this girl. This was like years ago. And it's not, it wasn't something that like I've ever done before. It was a fitness shoot. Okay. Um, so it's like, say, I've, I've never done anything like that before, and, like, her style wasn't really, um, like, my style. Mm -hmm. Like, it, like, what she wanted to do wasn't something that I was, like, comf like excited about. Excited about. Like, I wasn't like, no. oh, I can't wait to do this. Okay. Um, but she was like, um, and this was, like, when I first started, and I haven't really, like, started making money at all. And she offered, like, to pay me, like, whatever X amount of dollars. So I was like, okay, like, I might as well just do it, like, to get the money. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. I ended up driving all the way to Pittsburgh, like, and I live, like, 30 minutes from Pittsburgh. And I did the shoot, and I didn't really, I don't think I ever posted any of them. Now, here's a question for you. Um, How did you feel while post-processing and selecting those images? Bored. <laughs> if that makes any bored, sense. Uninspired. Yeah, like I was like, oh, like I guess I like process. this one. I guess I like that one. And it was like we did it smack in the middle of the day. Great. And like, I didn't really know where to go because I was going to where she was. So she was the one that dictated the time that you did the shoot. Did yeah. you didn't have any input on the well, time? Well, I think she had like something going on. So, like, that was the only time of the day that she could do it. Okay. So, um, she had something going on that was the only time of the day, and that was the only day she could do it, and you weren't very excited about the shoot. Okay. I know, a disaster. But, I ended up doing it. She was very nice. Um, but, that was just, that was probably one of the first experiences that I've ever had with, like, me not wanting to do it at all well what i can say is as a pro photographer not every single time you get up in the morning to go out and shoot you're gonna feel excited about it mm -hmm. but there's a difference between i mean you have to you have to give yourself that spark before every single session because you want to make everyone's everyone's sessions great but there's a difference between that and someone coming to you with a concept that's like completely out of your scope and for me it's like I'm doing a lot of fine art now and I'm doing a lot of things that are real with real stories behind mm -hmm. them the worst thing someone can come to me and tell me is hey you know I, I want to do a shoot in the middle of downtown somewhere with a watermelon and me biting a watermelon and smiling and, and running down the street. <laughs> like, and I've been asked that question. I've been asked to do that. So the worst thing someone can come to me and tell me is something like that because I'm going to ask them straight up, what's the like, point? what's the point in it, yeah. Yeah, if there's a point in it, if they said, hey, you know, um, you know, this just reminds me of when I was a kid and, you know, how... I was a free-spirited person at the time and, and blah blah blah, these were the best 
days or, or years of my life, then I'd be like, perfect, you know, let's do it. Let's, let's bring that back to life. But if someone came to me and said, hey, let's just do that because it looks cool. Yeah. Like, uh, probably not. Yeah. If there's no point to it, I mean, I would, I would ask them to save their money. I'd actually beg them to save their money or find someone else. Yeah. I do feel though that, and I, I constantly say this, that every dollar that you get towards something that you don't want to do is a dollar more towards you hating what yeah, you do. Yeah, I think you said that in the last one too. And also, when you start taking on these projects, especially because of social media and stuff like that, people start posting this stuff, then all of a sudden more people are seeing this stuff and then they're like, oh wow, okay, she does this, wow. Yeah. And then you start getting a bunch of projects now that don't fall in line with what mm -hmm. you would like to do and then all of a sudden you have a portfolio but then the body of work that's going out there say something different mm -hmm. and now everyone's approaching you for that. Yeah. To me, it, it really kills your morale as a photographer. It really kills what you want to do, what you love to do and it just gives, you know, it gives, it gives the wrong impression and it also kills productivity. Yeah. I mean, I can also say that I do enjoy, like, I like doing stuff that I, like, I don't know how to say it. Like, the work that I've been doing recently, like, I love that. Okay. But then I also enjoy doing stuff that's just, like, fun. Mm-hmm. Because I'm just having fun with it. Like, it's nothing crazy. But if I don't think I'm going to enjoy it, then like, I need to just not do it. Right. And now some of your clients, some of your client work can be a lot of fun. And I usually, this is why I usually like to talk to my clients before working with them as well, because I like to get a feel of who they are. So I yeah. can kind of gauge what the session is going to be like or how much energy I'm going to have to put into bringing out, you know, the fun in that person. Mm -hmm. So, with fun sessions, you know, I mean, if a fun sh session should be fun and not someone acting like they're having fun. Yeah. For no particular reason. I would just struggle with saying no because I would always think like, oh, I'm making money. Like, I should just say yes. If that makes sense. And there's a fine line. Because, like, even if I don't really like it, I'm still making money from it. But I will say that the majority of my work that I make money from, I do not post it. And I don't enjoy it as much. Now, what would happen if you started actually getting work that you love and that you're able to post? And then, all of a sudden, the majority of your work that you make money from become the work that you actually post on your page. Like, well, that would be, that be the dream? that's like the goal. And that's why I'm trying to do more of what I like to do. And that brings us right back to our point. Why it's so important to say no. Because a lot of the times too, it's like we would take on a project, let's say we're doing a trade and we're shooting with someone and it's not necessarily something that falls in line with what we would like to display but we think to ourselves okay this person has a good network and they're gonna put it on their social media and show us yeah. out and stuff like that but then when you think about it when you do that and they post it what are people actually going to come at you for for whatever they did. Yeah. I mean, I guess my thought is they'll post on their social media, then they'll come to my page and they'll see like the work that I post on my page. And they'll be mm -hmm. like, oh, I really like that. Like, I want to do something like that. And it can work that way or it can work the other way where they come to your page because they like what they saw and then they realize that your work's completely different and then they just back out, to, back out of your page. 
No, then that's unfortunate. It could work two ways. I guess it could. Whatever. Well, we'll see. So that's one. So that's so that's another thing. Um, we didn't have like a whole list of reasons why it's important to say no, but we just wanted to have a kind of a discussion. Oh, you know what else? About that. Um, I want to say. So, like, I wanted to talk about. Um, oh my god, how did I word it earlier? Like, asking like your friends and your family for money, mm -hmm. like for for doing work for them. Because I often find it like my family always wants it for free or like they want a like huge discount. And it's like I don't mind that because it's my family. But like when like do you need to be like, okay, well listen, like this is what I charge. Like should you ever charge them? Or so not, like, I, I don't know. I like to say it's up to you, obviously. People have a friends and family package and I think family members that understand your business should be happy to pay what you're charging, mm -hmm. especially if you have a package for friends and family. Um, what I usually advise people to do, and this was advice I got years ago that actually worked for me, is to, yes, you still want to be professional with your friends and family. However, you have to understand that if you're busy, the client's going to come first. Obviously, yeah. you're going to have a reasonable time period in which you're going to get the work back to your friends and family. And also, you're going to give them, when, when they have your time, they have the best of you. You're not giving them second best or third best. So that's that's super important, but they have to understand that, hey, you know what, this isn't going to be making up the the um, large portion of my income mm -hmm. and I'm going to have to take care of these people first, but this is a time period that I'm, that I'm going to have your work back. You know, you still be super professional, still keep everything on paper because there's nothing that can ruin a relationship faster. Well, not nothing, but these things ruin relationships really, really fast. When people say, hey, you know what, I'll do it for you, uh, whatever, just give me like, just give me like 50 bucks. Yeah. And then by the end of the shoot, you realize how much work you did and then in post-processing, you're going to be putting in a bunch of work and then you become sour about it. And eventually, you're going to hit your family members up and say, well, hey, listen, I mean, you have no idea how much work I'm putting into this. You need to wait. You know, to avoid all of that, you can tell them from the beginning, hey, I'm going to give you a discount. I'm going to still give you 100%. It's just going to take a little bit longer okay, because yeah. I have this work to get out the way, mm -hmm. but this is it. If you want to charge them, sure. You know, if you don't, make sure that everything yeah. is set in stone or you can say no and you can refer them to someone else. I know people that won't work with family members simply because of that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think I might just make like a friends and family price. And be like, that's, this that's... is my friends and family price. This is what you pay. Mm -hmm. Like, just make it like a solid, like, whatever. Not everybody becomes your friend. <laughs> we start making a bunch <laughs> of friends. <laughs> Especially if you're a social butterfly. Like me. I'm going to have a ton of friends. I already have enough. It's basically all your business is going to be friends and family. So you can just Well, like, I won't post it on anything. I'll just keep it in my archives for when I need it. <laughs> yeah. That's a good and idea. And then it, it always seems like the people that, that aren't paying for anything or getting like a super discounted price are the ones that are always constantly asking you when their images are going to be done. Mm-hmm. Like... And then the people that pay what you're worth or what you're asking for, they don't really bother you as much. No, and, I've, and what I've found out is that there's a sweet spot.
to a certain extent, the more people pays, the more they respect you as an artist yeah. and the more they're willing to cooperate and the more they kind of just understand and they're just very appreciative and happy. Yeah. At the same time, I think your friends and family package might actually work out. I think you just have to set the timeline though. You, you tell them, yeah. hey, you know what, this is going to be a little bit slower, but it will not exceed three weeks yeah you know three weeks is a three really weeks is long a long time. time yeah but you let them know hey it will not exceed three weeks however yeah. i mean you can get it anywhere back within 24 hours to three weeks depending on my workload but it will not exceed that if you want to have the same time frame as everyone else then pay like everyone else mm -hmm. that's a good idea right okay. so i guess that resolves my issue and anybody else's that might have that issue. Right. Um, so yeah, just say no. Just say no. Or say no. <laughs> or say no. <laughs> <laughs> say no or set boundaries. Right. And guidelines. I mean, if you don't want to do it, just say no, which that's what I have to start doing. You have to have some boundaries set for yourself too. Yeah. You know, you just have to know in your heart what, and it comes with experience. Once you keep doing something, you know what you're not going to do and what, what you just prefer. It's like, you know, what, what you won't really want to spend your time on. You, you know that from yeah. experience. So, you know, be willing to not go through the pain of actually doing this stuff over and over again and driving yeah. yourself nuts. Just say no. <laughs> to drugs. To and drugs. everything else. Yeah. And everything else you don't want to do. Um, okay. So that about maybe wraps it up. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Alright. Our first video under 20 minutes. Yeah. We should have drink to that. Right. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're not completely alcoholics. No. Nope. We drink water sometimes. On that note. <laughs> On that note. <laughs> um, like and subscribe, comment, share, tell your friends. All that fun stuff. And let us know if you have any questions. Or even if you think something, like if you have any thoughts or you know anything to add, let us know. Or if there's something that you want us to talk about, let us know. Sounds good. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Until next time. Peace.